All right. The demonstration I'm going to put together for you today involves creating an inventor drawing so that you can give your teacher or whoever a blueprint of what your object is that you've made. First thing you want to do is click on the word new and then select the word standard IDW. So we'll click on that. This is going to prompt a screen that looks a lot like a blank, just a, a blank white page that has a title block in the right corner. The title block is important because it tells you uh, whose document it is, so you get credit for the work that you've done. This is still loading here. You can see the, the browser there working itself in. Um, there we go. I'm going to zoom in on this real quick. You can see my name right here. This gives me credit. It says that this property is mine. Um, what I'm going to do is click on base first. And then from here, I'm going to click on the browser button, which is right here. And then I'm going to select which part or assembly I'd like to work with. And I'm going to double click on it. I'll show you the wedge here. Double click on that. OK, the next problem that needs to be uh, solved is getting the right view of the object. Right now, this is not the front view of the wedge. I need to click on this button right here called Change View Orientation. And this is going to prompt me to a screen in which I can manipulate or rotate the object so that I'm actually looking at its front side. I'm holding F4 down right now so that I can rotate this the right way. And then I, once I'm in a close enough position, I'll just click on the cube over here. This is the front of the wedge. When it's positioned the way that you want, click on Finish Custom View. Okay, now you can see that how I was looking at the previous screen is now the way I'm looking at this current object. All right. The next thing to worry about is making sure that the size of the object is large enough to fit on the blueprint. I'm going to change it right now. This is the ratio scale over here. I'm going to make this instead of 1 to 1, 2 to 1. And as you can see, this has now increased the size of the wedge. Last thing I want to do is click on the word shaded because that will give it a color uh, when I print it off. I'm going to click one time to get it going. And then all I have to do is do a series of clicks. This up here is the top view of the object. This is the right side view of the object. And then this is called the isometric right side view of the object. Then I am going to right click, say create. And you can see I have my objects where I like them. All I need to do now is give it its dimensions. So I will click on the word annotate, dimension. And then I'm going to, just going to click between two points each time. As you can see, it then gives you the documentation of the dimensions that it needs. When you're all said and done doing all the different dimensions, you're going to go up to the eye, or file basically, go to print and make sure you select the best fit button and then hit OK and that's it. And then you can save it if you'd like to for you know, future reference. If you're going to make a series of drawings I would suggest that you uh, you could print one at a time if you like or you can just do all the saving and then do all your print jobs at the end so you can put all your stuff together. It's your choice. But that is how you do an inventor drawing.